Hello. In this video, we will start making a solar heated dry kiln based on Virginia Tech documentation, but modified a bit to suit our needs. The solar kiln after assembling should look like in this image I printed. You can find the link for the PDF file in the description below. Because we need to dry the lumber for our big project, which is a house, I modify the dimensions of the solar kiln to be usable for 4 meters length. In our area it's not that easy to find dried wood, so we decided to build a solar kiln and dry the green wood ourselves. For this we used green wood because it's the only way we can make it in time and have enough time to dry the wood for our future house. We use 5 by 15 cm lumber for the base because it should be stronger, so we cut all the pieces first and use nails to assemble it. It's a good time to practice with our brand new nail gun and learn how to properly use it because we never used one before. Since we need an air compressor in our workshop, we got a pneumatic framing gun and not a cordless one, which could be easier to use. Now that the base is done, we will move it to the side and start building the side walls. For the rest of the build, we will use 5 by 10 cm lumber instead. For the top side of these walls we need to do a few 45 degrees cuts and the easiest way for me was to use a chainsaw. The cuts are not perfect but it will do the trick for this job. Now, with all the lumber cut to the size, it's time to start building the walls. Oh. 
we started with the left and right walls as they are identical as shape. With these two out of the way, we start making the front wall. This was easier to do as it was just a rectangle. The access part was a bit more complicated because of the ventilation holes needed on the top part. The base and all four walls are ready now, so next step is to move all these parts all the way in the back of our yard, where we will assemble it, but this will be in our next episode. Don't forget to press the subscribe button if you want to see us doing more stuff, also leave a comment below if you have any questions or have suggestions. Thank you for watching.